Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. I hope you're having a great Tuesday. We're looking at Exodus 19 in our Journey to Freedom uh, study or continuation uh, of this theme. Uh, hey, how do you get ready for church? I know, I know. You get dressed and you put on your clothes, you put on your makeup and do your hair and all that kind of stuff. But I'm, that's not what I'm really talking about. But I, I remember as a child getting ready for church because we were always going to church. And that meant I had to put on the, the you know, slacks and the dress shirt and the tie. And I remember when I was a kid, I had to wear a clip-on tie. I don't know if they still make those or not anymore. But, uh, you know, people would grab it and pull it off. You'd have to stick it back on. I hated dressing up for church. But it didn't end there. After getting dressed, and we were warned about staying clean or we'd get in trouble. And then, of course, there was the yelling through the house about get ready, hurry up, finish breakfast, brush your teeth, get in the car, we're going to be late, all of those things. And, uh, and we looked ready for church externally, but there was no heart preparation as we drove to church. Um, Exodus 19, the people of God arrive at Mount Sinai. And Moses tells them to get ready to meet God, that God's going to reveal himself to them in three days. And he tells them to wash their clothes. He tells them to abstain from sexual intimacy uh, and that they are to prepare themselves to meet God. And, and they did this. And then God revealed them, himself to them in smoke and fire, in an earthquake and in thunder. It was quite a dramatic experience. So how do you prepare to meet God? In fact, when I say that out loud, I kind of chuckle because I'm thinking everything we do is to prepare people to meet God, that one day, you know, it's appointed a man wants to die and then judgment. And we want you to know Jesus so that when you meet God, that you, heaven is your destination and, and you know you're his and, and you're looking forward to eternal life. But I'm talking about this weekend. As you get ready for worship, how do you prepare to meet God? How do you get ready to worship your Savior? You see, it changes our hearts and our attitudes if we prepare to meet God. Uh, so when you get ready uh, Saturday night or Sunday morning or whenever you're coming to church, you know, uh, play worship music while you're getting ready. It'll change the dynamic. I remember doing this when my girls were younger and I'd put on the, the latest Christian hits and crank up the, the volume on the stereo and, and we would kind of dance and sing while we were getting ready. It changes the attitude as we get ready for worship. And, and be encouraging instead of uh, yelling at everybody, hurry up, we're going to be late. You know, just encourage them to get up a little earlier and, and to be ready. Uh, and, and then see, set the tone for your family as you prepare to gather together and hear from God. And that's true, again, whether you're worshiping in your house or whether you're coming to the church building, it's still an attitude of worship that you get ready for. Now, personally, I get ready for the weekends, uh, pretty much a habit I've had for about 30 years, about two hours before the first uh, weekend service begins. Uh, I will go up to church, usually the McCulloch campus, and I will pray and I will listen. Uh, look over the sermon, see what God has uh, for me to say differently than what I've already written down. And I want to be prepared to come and worship the living God. Uh, and that's a time that, whether I'm preaching or not, it's still the same uh, commitment, the same time of being with God, getting my heart ready for worship, praying that our hearts would be ready to hear from the living God. So I hope you join us for worship this weekend whether it's in person or online, I hope you'll join us. But I also pray that you will get ready to worship because it makes all the difference in the world. I hope this blesses you, and I'm praying that God will give you a blessed day. Take care, Calvary.